Whatever floats his boat. Yeah, no, you, you, I, I've seen your videos talking about how you uh, prefer Wolf in this in this game. Yeah, I, I mean, it, 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 it just depends, because Fox is still a good character. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's bad. So if, Bo if Charlie can make him work, then it's cool good for, for him. him. Yeah. He's been trying to bait you into it. He's like, hey, literally, I'm playing Wolf. No, literally every month he messages me to, to make Fox. <laughs> I'm not even joking. All right, but we got first matchup. We got Samus versus Palutena on PS2. Hop and ride in. Yeah, so I mean, just just based on the matchup, I would say Palutena has the advantage, and that's the reason why Nair kind of just puts Samus in the corner and all of these more pressure I mean, off of that. It's already being hard, like a zone you want to stay away from them, but the power of the fact that she can quickly make work and risky getting messed up, 92% already on him and 9 yes. Doing such a good job with these arrows, and like you said earlier, the Nair is like the big trouble. I mean, that is the defining factor of Palu in the first place. Yes, absolutely. And yeah, Risky is just having trouble landing. Like he's just been in disadvantage for like pretty Ever much since the, start the, game of the match. Started, yeah. yeah, and he's almost gonna lose a stock. And for that it. is it. A very nice explosive flame by 9S. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, like such a really good move because it's so non-committal off stage, and if it hits the opponent at high percent, they're gone. And I think one of the one of the hurt biggest parts about Nair that hurts a lot of players is that if, even if the last bit hits you, it still combos into the other Nairs that come forward, and you just get changed up by Risky trying to do something with it. But as soon as he uses a move that isn't safe on Shield, he immediately gets put into disadvantage. And look at this: his frame traps he's getting stuck into. 9S is just pummeling him with these aerials. Yeah. Oh, okay. He got something started, but he gets nothing off of it. And so what it feels like for for Risky is that he's getting the hit. Like he'll win neutral. And he'll get a fall off and he'll miss, and then 9S will just reversal him, reversal him for it. Oh my god. Up smash barely misses out, and some air movement coming in from both sides. Charge shot does find its mark, but do keep in mind that Risky is a hold stock down and the explosive flame finding its mark once again. 9S yeah. doing such a good job in the back air. My goodness. Yeah, and again, uh, 9S just got Risky in the corner, and that was it. And there are the Nairs. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was literally a repeat of history, the last part of the Nair hit him. And then he got comboed into other nerfs, but thankfully only took 19%. But Risky two stocks down and quickly getting comboed up down tilt doesn't even kill just yet. 9S staying alive, but Risky, he's getting desperate for He's throwing at these random smash, uh, random F smash we saw right there, and he's yeah. just gonna keep getting walled out and back That's here. It. Yeah, so that was not that was not a good way to start the first game. That was just that was just not. So this is Paolo's favor. This is definitely Paolo's favor. Um Neutral air definitely puts in work in the matchup. Um, something else is that Samus is really tall, so it's easier to link neutral airs together. Oh, and he goes Marth. I would say this is better. Probably better. I mean, it's still Paolo favored, but I would say it's a little better because, like, yeah. I know a lot of people talked about uh, Marth ever since MKLeo. He picked him up for a little bit, and while everyone's like, "Wow, Marth is really good," but then MKLeo said himself, "It's just not as consistent." I mean, he should, he should, he should just definitely go Lucina uh, if, if I'm being honest. Because mm -hmm. yes, Marth is not bad, but why, why work harder when you could just have about the same kill power and just not have to be as precise. Yeah. That's I mean, pretty much what Lucina is. I mean, that's why people play Palo. It's like, you just need to focus on your fundamentals and then you get you use the kit that you have and especially the fact that Nair is working in and Risky with an F smash as well. And I'm starting to question the fact why, why bring up the Marth? I mean, it sure is a character loyalty, but yeah, I want to win. Yeah, I mean, at this point he's doing fine. So the Marth, the Marth is working. For now. Yeah. Um, what I think, what I think the the change helps helps with is that he kind of just wasn't getting much off of hits, and ooh, that almost did it. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna try to get the edge guard. Great usage of the neutral special in order to move himself a little bit away. Gets attempting for the edge guard, but misses out. And now himself has been disadvantaged, but that jump barely got over the down tilt. So 9S. Yeah. still trying to get something down, but he's just using the backers, knowing that's one of the safest options that Hello has. I kind of don't like how risky you side B there it's in neutral. I feel like he could have done something way safer, like F tilt, uh, sport air, you know. It's not really good to use side B like that, especially when like it won't guarantee the kill unless he gets the tipper, which is hard. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and also, there's one thing that there's sometimes he throws at the side special just because he can. There's like no purpose for it. Like in the middle of the area where Ninus was near the ledge, Risky kind of threw out a side special near the middle of the He's stage. Dead. And yeah. I yeah. mean, it works until it doesn't. I, again, I would say 
it would be better if he was Lucina doing that because hers just can kill without the tipper. Because with Risky, I feel like he's banking so heavily on it. I mean, that's literally his name. He's yeah. risking it all for the tipper, yeah. and he's and it's not paying off like the first one. He got the few hits in, and like, oh so my god, <laughs> okay. I mean, he got it, but he was already at 156. Like. Yeah, it was that was kind of a, like a hell mary move, and he was just fortunate enough to get the tipper there. But um, now resetting back to neutral, where right, he's going back to square run essentially, and now he's gonna have to basically pay the consequences of not being able to have a consistent kill move. And Risky jumps right into the up smashes as well and uses the counter. Not gonna work. Up air. 9S is slowly just choking him out. He's gonna go ahead and use Eb Smith. Oh my, oh he my almost God. got guy. <laughs> he almost got, well, he got got there. Yeah, because you don't DI in on Palo Down Throw. No, there's certain percents where it's guaranteed. I think he DI'd out, but it was just guaranteed. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But still, you don't want to DI in on that down throw. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. He's not doing too bad right now. But then he does that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, like, no. he, like he said, he goes for these really risky plays, bets it all, and then loses stage control, and then Ninus chokes him out again. Like, that's yeah. how it goes. Yeah. If he had gotten the tipper there, he would have he would have been in the stock, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that was, a good, that was a good attempt, even though it didn't work out. I mean, you have to go for, like, when you're in disadvantage, you're the one who has to pull off the, the risky moves and then try to find yourself in. And back to the ledge, down tilt, going to catch him out twice. And Risky stuck on the ledge, trying to get out. And that's where you're talking about the random side splits just like that. Yeah, he's doing it way too much. And he's not getting much off of it. That's it. Yeah, he lost his jump. Yeah, and that's a quick 2-0 and a handshake. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how it works. That's how Paolo, like, does it. Like, she 